Today, I'm going to show you a really cool double string pull off Chet Atkins lick that you can incorporate into a really cool blues lick. Let me just get the camera adjusted, grab my guitar, and I'll show you how to do it. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. I'm going to play it up to speed here first. This is from a tune he did called Cascade. Uh, and it's, it's basically off the progression of just a, a C to a D7 to an F, G, back to the C. So here we go. This is it. I'll play it up to, uh, play it up to speed here first. Here we go. slower. Alright, now what's happening there is I've got my ring finger on the fourth string on the seventh fret, my index finger on the third string on the uh, fifth fret, and my pinky is on the second string on the eighth fret. So what's happening this lead line, the pinky string, second string, the line's going down like that, okay? Like that. To a C. And so the only thing that's, that's really uh, moving, other than the baby finger second string line going down, is this pull off on the third string um, fifth fret all the time. So here's what's happening. You're going to do two fingers, two fingered uh, chord shot, twice on the second and the third string. And then you're going to do a pull off on the third. Like that. Okay, that's, that's uh, step number one on this lick. The second thing you do with the thumb pick, you pick the fourth string all by itself, and then you're going to go back to the two finger chord shot, pick them again, do a pull off, and then back to the fourth string with the thumb pick. So it's like this here's step one, here's step two, here's step three, pull off. just repeats and as it repeats your line is moving down the baby finger will move from the 8 to the 7 and then this finger comes in here for the F then you finish on a shot on the C so here it is real slow It's just a, a neat little uh, neat little thing to do. Uh, and again, you can incorporate this into a really nice blues lick in a couple different keys, in fact. So once you got that down, okay. Now, when I show you this in uh, C minor for a C minor blues lick, it's actually simpler even than what we just did there. So we're gonna to go to C minor, up here on a barring across on the eighth fret. Except you're not gonna bar right across, you're gonna take these two fingers, your first and your second finger, on the third string and the second string on the eighth fret. And you gotta have them like that because again, this finger is gonna be doing a pull off, the same idea with a pull off, okay? Um, and then you're going to have your ring finger is going to play the fourth string on the tenth fret for the C minor, right? Okay, 
So now instead of doing um, the two pull offs and then the base and then one pull off and the base, it's, very, it's simpler than that. It's just going to be this two fingered shot, pull off to the base on the fourth string. That's all it is. And then we're going to move from there. So, and that just keeps repeating. So it's like this. I'm going to move my index finger down to the seventh fret, back to the eighth. Pinky comes up on the third string on the tenth. And each one of those is going to be a pull off with the two finger chord shot. Here we go. shot, pull off, to the base, two fingered shot, pull off, index finger on the seventh fret, pull off, to the base, back to the eighth fret, pinky on the tenth fret of the third string, finishing with your base every time. A7 blues. So we're just going to do your A note, the C sharp, and the E. And I'm going to go to from an A to an A suspended. simple stuff. Neat lick. There you go guys. Try that lick over top of a C minor blues, uh, A7 blues, even a G7 or G minor blues. Same thing will work fantastic. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, check me out on jwcollinsauthor.com. Check out my books that I have out there. I am a traditionally published author. I write period westerns, historical fiction. And um, also be sure to click on the, uh, the bell for notification of uh, upcoming videos. And uh, in regards to what's going on with uh, the situation around the world today, just want to put my two cents in there. Stop watching mainstream news. Stop watching CNN. Stop watching faux news. Stop watching MSNBC. Start doing some real research on the internet. There are a lot of genuine uh, extremely well credentialed doctors that are out there that are coming out now on their own and uh, basically calling out this uh, this hoax for what it is. That's all I'm going to say about this stuff. Anyway, until next time, have the best day you can. See you then.